The screen size of a smartwatch provides limited screen space for touch input. Multi-touch is markedly difficult and limited on such devices. In this work, we enhance touch interaction on a smartwatch. Existing research has explored similar approaches, but these rely on the use of external hardware sensors. Here we can see pressure touch operating in real time. By touching the sides with different pressure, we can see the blue color pressure gauge grow. For the experimental task, we asked each participant to apply pressure and remain in the target box for one second. Here we can see twisting operating in real time. By touching any part of the screen and twisting the watch face, we can see a blue color arc growing along the perimeter. For the experimental task, we asked each participant to twist and remain in the target box for one second. Here we can see panning operating in real time. By touching any part of the screen and panning the watch face, as if using a joystick, we can control a blue cursor in the two-dimensional plane. For the experimental task, pan and remain in the target box for one second. We have implemented several demos to showcase the new interaction techniques. Here we can see a map application. Twisting can zoom in or zoom out the map, while pressure touch moves the map. The twist and pressure touch are rate controlled, which means a user can press or twist harder to move at a faster pace. In an alarm clock app, by touching the screen and twisting, a user can control the minute hand. This is rate controlled, so twisting harder can move the minute hand faster. In a music player application, a user can touch on different buttons and twist to perform different functions, such as turning up the volume, increasing playback speed, or even fast forwarding. In the text entry application, a user can employ different pressure to disambiguate between different characters on the same button. It works similar to a multi-tap, except here we use pressure instead of multiple taps. In the File Explorer application, panning up or down scrolls through the file list at a different pace. Panning right will enter the currently selected folder, while panning left will exit the current folder. We might also recognize the pan gesture and use it as a shortcut command. For example, gesturing C might open the calendar application, while gesturing F might open a Facebook application. Here we show two examples. On the left, we can see pressure touch being used to accelerate or brake, twisting the watch face to steer the wheel. On the right, we can see the use of pan to move a game character in two dimensions, while twisting rotates the camera view. Finally, in a third-person shooting game, we use panning to move the character in two dimensions and twist to rotate the gun direction. Another finger tapping on the screen activates the gun shooting. To avoid a finger touching the screen, we can use conductive material to route the touch from the side of the watch to the screen. Our pressure touch doesn't work on the center part of the screen. However, we've successfully applied a vibration absorption technique to infer the pressure on the middle of the screen. Thank you for watching me demonstrate Watch Me, our IMU-based approach for continuous pressure touch, twist, and pan gestures on unmodified smartwatches.